Welcome back. All right. We're going in deep with our uh, transport hub here. And I've added a secondary short tower so we can move things along a little easier. And the question is, how many of these do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Does six make seven? Oh, that's a good point. Let's get the belt on this bar. I feel like I'm jumping right in. I hope that's okay. Um, four, and then let's see if we can connect this. And it's going in the correct direction. So power plug on this side tells me that it's the right way. And then we'll go back to this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, I can't see the power plug. Looking forward to the arrow, by the way. The arrow on blueprint, so you know what direction. It's going to be amazing. I feel obligated to check to make sure that I've got the spacing right. I'd hate to build a bunch of these only to find the spacing is wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's risk it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So technically I should go one more, but it might be time to go taller. Let's see if we can get far enough back to get a sense of this. These internal belts might be facing the wrong way. Nope. They might be facing the right way. Sometimes these rocks are just a slipperier, slipperier, slipperier than you think they're gonna be. All right, and then I think if I approach this correctly, I potentially have gathered all these crazy foods for basically nothing. I mean, I got five inhalers, 100 barrel nuts, a couple mushrooms. I had some berries because I made inhalers, but I think if I approach this right here, we can do it in such a way where we don't get hit with toxic gas. And this one is one, two, three, four, and then connected. So let's see if we can get a foundation in place that supports one, two, three, four. Can we zoop from there? Oh yeah, we're way underground. If I go here, I'll actually be in a situation where I'm going up a little bit. And it might be okay. Let's see what it looks like.
I guess if we're going to do a little bit of design, we might as well make this fully supported. All this just to move the sulfur from three locations, including one way up there on that tower, which isn't complete, by the way, but it does provide the, sul the sulfur. All that just to move this. So the short one is going to give us the least amount. I could just build one by hand, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I did find a little bit of it. Gonna take us a while to wind through all this. We're so close, so very close. Oh, I finally did it. I made one that was one too long. Okay. Where is this thing? Right over here. Probably wise that we took the higher tower, by the way. see both of them at the same time, so we're getting close. One, two, three, four. Let's take a shot. Build a couple angled versions of this thing. extra spooky when you hear it coming. Oh, that was really close. That was really close. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. I think Evil Ada is trying to lie to me.
too long again. All right, let me just build it. This most valuable artifact. Got to remember to keep the power on the right here. So the direction of the belts that I've put in place will help us. Harvest. Not hurt us. And we need to get out of here so we can get away from Ada trying to convince us to do something we're just simply not going to do. This is a four tower. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the short tower, so let's just build that again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Oh, we ran out of steel. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. All right, one second. I'm going to run back and grab some more steel. Be right back. Hey, we're back. Uh-oh. I forgot all of my stuff. Harvest. I just brought the steel back. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to run back and grab that. We're going to avoid all these crazy boar. It feels like to me, and I don't know if it's true. It, it, if it were, though, it, it wouldn't surprise me that there are more boar in the forest. Right? My kind of expectation is that... kind of got lost there for a second is that we um would see more boar in any forest plentiful food sources lots of opportunities for creating what does a nest what kind of home does a boar make surely it's not a nest surely it's something else Okay, that's good. So it doesn't surprise me, but I'll often come across three, four. I think we hit five boar at a time once. There's lots of extra big boar, with a couple little boar around it. This biome is different. It definitely feels different. Okay. Let's see if we can connect the rest of this and get this sulfur into the hub. What do you think? You think it's close enough to go direct? It is. How exciting is that? 
The question is, is this one close enough? I might have gone, gone a little too far. Yeah. Let's just build one more. We're building in the rough at this point anyway, so... Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Yeah? I bet. Who doesn't like an alien artifact? I don't have to pull these belts. I was going to pull the belts and then lower it and then reconnect it. Maybe I just connect it. Getting farther and farther away from the build area here. We're almost there. I see at least some sulfur moving, so I'm going to assume we're fully connected and done. This uh, space elevator is probably going to go because we're going to want to have a different location, a different build out, totally a different experience for the space elevator. Huh. This looks really slow to me. Why am I getting such a huge gap? What have I done here? Oh no. I'm suddenly worried that my lift towers are Mark II belts. There's just way too much space between these for it to be correct. Yeah, what's the slowdown? Mark one. <laughs> That'll do it. Of course, one of these is much slower than the others. They're all surviving on good vibes and a huge storage. Wait a minute. Looks like it's slowing down again. Oh, no, no, no. Now that's, that's my imagination. We're all good. 
All right, so we're going to wait till these start to stop, and they've already started. So this is nice and preloaded. And now we're going to get an awesome sink. Except we don't have reinforced plate on us. I don't think I have any stored over here either. Yeah. Okay. It's only going to take a second for me to get there, but I think I am going to pause and be right back. Be right back. All right. Sliding our way back. So what I want to do is I want to grab, and I really, I should have checked all kinds of things, but I didn't check anything. I just came right back. I should check to see if I have enough for maybe more than one awesome sink. So we can go ahead and just crunch through it. And then I should check to see if we have room for an industrial storage container. Oh, wow, look at that. Can I put a belt in there? Huh. I forgot about that. The truck clearance is ridiculous. But we can get a belt in, so that's good enough for me. And then we'll put one over here. This is all temporary, obviously. I want to rip the coal out of here. Try to solve a problem that I was talking about last episode, which is the fact that we preloaded this thing with all coal. And of course, now I've got a bunch of stuff I want to keep in my inventory. So let's do this. Hit the store all button. And take all. Now it's going to start off perfectly balanced. And it's going to start loading perfectly balanced because everything's preloaded. But once things sort of shake out, it'll be interesting to see what the ratios look like. Plus, we have to remember we have a good amount of, uh, especially on the sulfur side, but also on the coal side, a good amount of that's preloaded in storage. So right now everything's coming out at pretty equal ratios, even though the miners are 270 and like one, what is it? 270 plus 270 would be 540. So that other miner is 150. So one miner is doing 150 while the other two miners are doing 270. That differential should start to show up, but for right now, it's looking like everything's coming in pretty balanced. And it's not gonna be perfect, but yeah, so like this one's out of whack. This one looks like it's coming in pretty balanced. It's a little bit more coal. And then this one, it's pretty balanced. There's one extra stack of coal, so it's actually loading coal a little faster. So that's interesting. This one's doing a little extra sulfur. This one on the end's doing a little extra coal, and this one in the middle is pretty balanced. So that's encouraging, actually. Yeah, see down there, 
already see a particular kind of lack. So this belt's not really producing very much. At the end of the day, we need to get at least 690 of both resources through the system. But I think what we'll do is we'll add a little extra. Well, now this belt is flowing freely. This belt is stopping on occasion. So let's get this top belt linked in. Oh, goodness. Missing a cable. Once these sinks take in all this coal, we'll be able to reestablish our standard building inventory. So we're going to pull stuff off the top there and drop it straight into here. And that's going to make the balance of this first or this last. Uh, it's going to make the balance of this last one more sulfur centric. Uh oh, I did it exactly backwards. Glitter at the top. Well, now it looks like we don't have very much sulfur at all. starting to worry that we have another tiny section of mark one or two belts on the sulfur line I will research that on my own but it's pretty straightforward that I think the connections are done and everything is flowing We have, I think we have something on the coal side. Yeah, I can see it right there. We ran out of steel during our last build. Let's go through and do a quick set of upgrades. have crates. I made a whole mess of crates. Let's see if we can resolve some of that. Well, I'll take care of that off camera. I think we're pretty close here. So we have our transport hub ready to go. I believe it's set up. 
with a pretty decent balance of sulfur and coal in these three transport hubs. This last one's mostly coal. So I think we're about done. Um, next episode, we will probably extend our neon road here, our neon highway, uh, make it a little longer. We might go so far as to connect. Do I have the materials necessary to maybe put a light control panel down? Oh yeah, that, that pole's gonna have to go. It's right in the middle of the road. Why are they the same color as the atrium? Oh, I set the default color of white to interesting. All right, well, we can just set this back. We'll set this back to white. Not all of these are connected. So that's the, where we're gonna have to make the hard choice. Do we connect this here? Or do we try to magically somehow without being able to fly? Connect it on the edge. Well, the edge might not, whoa might not be impossible. We'd have to walk it like this. if I really wanted it, I probably should have connected this, these lights on the other side. We would have hidden the wire a little bit more. But I think you get to the point. I'll do this off camera. Or I'll do it part as part of a decoration video. But the way these are connected now, these are all in a single circuit. They're all happy. I do think a simple white light is the way to go here. And then we'll turn it on to nighttime mode and we'll be good to go. Maybe we'll make a little, little light control box, little house here for this purpose. But for right now, that's good. All right, so up next, we need to build the basis of our transportation network. So we're gonna need three of these. 
right? We're going to need at least three transportation. And then I might... Oh, man. This is going to get tough. It might make sense to think about... a high-speed transportation option. That is going to be annoying to build, though. Without serious clipping implications. I'll have to decide if that's a clip or not. No, I guess technically it's not. Well, no, technically it is. The wire's literally inside the hyper tube. Getting this on here is going to be painful. But these are all considerations for the next video. So yeah, I need three of these. That should be easy enough. I'll probably have to move some materials out there to be in a good spot. We might actually have to extend the road as well. What I really want to do is drive straight down the line here at max speed. And then I want to drive straight into the coal power plant complex, which is going to include a compacted coal, whoa, whoa, whoa. a compacted coal factory. So we're going to drive the coal and the sulfur down the line, compact it, and then burn it. But I want to do that right in the center of whatever we do. And I think that is going to be a problem because um, we've got land over here. So we need to keep going out a little further so we can get some good count of uh, some space. I mean, the other thing I could do is I could turn this, right? Just turn it and then go out again. That'd be the easiest way to center it up on the world. Let's see, where are we? It looks like, though, if we go out a little further, we'll have space right here to build what we're talking about without turning it. I think the turn would kind of lowers the drama. So we're going to need like, uh, I don't know. Oh wait, that's open. I don't want the open one. We're going to need probably another 10 or so of these to get us to a place where we can start. And then I'm thinking, and you'll let me know, should we ramp up a little bit? For the extra drama? I know trucks have a problem with long ramps. I'd hate to build something that I can't put a truck on. Tractors can do it. Yeah, it's not having any trouble at all 
with one meter ramps. So yeah, right before we, um, right when we enter, I want to start ramping up. Also, I want to build out some sort of interesting entrance. Not sure about that yet. Anyway, I've threatened to end this video four times, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Let's see here. Get rid of all this. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Maybe I'll do some research on the kinds of inclines trucks can handle. We'll see it. We'll see you next time.